Hello, hello everyone. This is Miguel. I am the host of Strategy Rewind Podcast, a podcast that focuses on the mindset and strategies necessary for a breakthrough moment. What is a breakthrough moment, you ask? A breakthrough moment is that aha moment. It's that moment when your understanding and your skills and your passion, they all come together like a nice fruit smoothie. (laughs) It's that moment that everything clicks and you're able to take it to the next gear and accomplish all the things you've wanted to accomplish. Have you ever established a goal that you did not accomplish? Well, this is where I come in. As a personal growth strategist, I help individuals think strategically to accomplish their goals. To think strategically is to be able to pivot and to see a solution even when you feel like there isn't one. So often we establish goals and we fail. Let's be honest. We establish goals and we fail. Maybe you decided you want to lose weight, work out, eat healthy, wake up early, go to bed early, read more, be more loving, be more tender. Maybe you decided you wanted to take more walks or you were gonna be more active or whatever the case may be. Maybe you decided this is the year I walk out of my comfort zone. This is the year I do bigger and bolder and better things than ever before. And yet, here you are, right? You still haven't done it. You still haven't pulled the trigger. You still haven't started. You still haven't made the move. Of course, there's some things to be said here. We can analyze from this and say, okay, why haven't you started? Is it possible that your daily habits are not contributing to what you want to accomplish? That what you do on a daily is not contributing to the person you want to become? When we talk about habits, it's muscle memory. And so it's the things that you do You don't even have to think about it. You just do it. And when you wake up in the morning and you're going to go brush your teeth, you don't think about where's my toothbrush. You know where your toothbrush is. You know where the restroom is in your household. You know how to turn on the water, the right of the faucet. You know how to do these things. These are the, you don't even waste time. In fact, how many times have you turned on the faucet and you're thinking about something else? You're not even thinking about what you're doing because you've already built in the muscle memory. You put your cake up in the Keurig machine and you press the button. You're not even thinking about, am I putting eight ounces or 10 ounces? Is it strong or not? You're not even thinking about any of those things because it's muscle memory. It's a habit. It's something that you do without even thinking about it. And oftentimes we build out these habits that the truth is do not contribute, do not actually breed into the person we want to be. Now, let's be clear about this. Habits are not inherited. And habits are not things that you are born with. Habits are things you learn. Maybe your mother or father was the type of person that always read the newspaper. And so now you have the habit of reading the newspaper every single day. Maybe your grandparents would always watch the news at 10 p.m. with no hesitation. Nothing could be on the way. Nothing else could be on TV. No one could sit on their chair because that's what they had to do. And now you have built the habit over the years where you do the same thing. And when we talk about habits, we have to know habits are not something you inherit. Habits is not something you're born with. Habits is something that develops over time. Sometimes it's the relationships that we have that bring about a particular habit. You hang out with people that eat particular foods, then you begin to test it out, you enjoy the menu, and now you have the habit. That's the restaurant we go to if we're gonna have pizza, nowhere else, right? There's just habits that are formed over time. But here's the thing. Rather, your habits are being created on purpose or they're being created because life is continuously happening. Maybe you're just not realizing that this is becoming a habit. Regardless if you are in the driver's seat of or not, when these habits are being formed, habits are being formed. And what happens is that we get into a groove of things and this is just what we do. 
This is just how we wake up. This is just how we go to bed. This is just how we do things. This is this is the habits that we form. And oftentimes, the habits that we've developed over time, over the course of months, years, those habits don't actually lead into us becoming the person we now wish to be. So think about this. If maybe you're saying, man, I want to read more books. I'm not reading enough books. Okay, just know this, that the habit of not reading is something that you're going to have to combat. So what's what's something practical that you can do to combat the habit of not reading? Well, maybe set an alarm, set a schedule, set a designated place where you say, this is where I go to read every single day and don't let anything else alter that space. For me, podcasting is something that I really enjoy. But in order for me to do it effectively, my computer, my space have to be already set up so that when I feel that moment of saying, okay, I can record now, I can just swing the microphone over, put on the headphones, plug in and go. I don't have to think about too many steps. Imagine having to put away the microphone once I'm done. And then when it's time that I I say, okay, I'm going to do it now because the kids are in bed or nobody's home or whatever the case may be. And when I go to take the microphone out, plug in the microphone, plug in all the extensions and everything else that I have to do. By the time I'm done with that, one of the kids have woken up and the space and opportunity have gone by. It's not that inspiration is gone. It's just that, well, I got kids. (laughs) So when we talk about becoming the individual you want to become, oftentimes we fail at establishing goals that we can accomplish. Because sometimes we are ambitious and we want to conquer a lot and we want changes that are tangible, results that are tangible. Let me just tell you that some changes are tangible and some are not. For example, if you begin to work out and you begin to see your body begin to morph, that's a tangible change, right? You can physically see it. You can look in the mirror and see it. But before you started lifting those weights and going to the gym and eating healthy, there's a change that took place that wasn't tangible. You know what change that was? Your attitude, your mindset, your traits, your habits. Nobody saw it. Nobody saw that. But it's the foundation. It's the fundamental to allow you to actually become the person you want to be and to live the life you want to live. So maybe today you are working your way, inching your way towards your goals. And you're saying, I get it, Miguel. I, I'm, I'm working on my habits. I'm working on my goals. I'm, I'm, I'm meditating. I'm visualizing. I'm doing it. I'm in, the, I'm in the thick of it. Here's what I want to tell you today. Show yourself some grace. Show yourself some grace. There are going to be moments where... Maybe you you said, I'm going to go to the gym three days a week. And for some reason or another, you know, maybe your car broke down. Maybe your kids, one of the kids got sick. Maybe, you know, a family emergency. And you were like, man, I only got to go to the gym two days a week. Show yourself some grace. There are these things that do take place that we don't necessarily have control over. But let's be clear here. Showing yourself some grace doesn't mean that you're giving yourself a license to fall back into your old habits, to fall back into your old routines, to fall back into your old patterns. That's not what showing yourself grace is. Showing yourself grace is saying, okay, did I go to the gym? Yes. How many days? Two. Okay. Next week, we shoot for three. Or if the week isn't over yet, Can I sneak in that third day? After all, it may be only Tuesday. It may be only Wednesday. Maybe I could still sneak in that workout. Maybe I could still get it in. Or maybe maybe it's not me going to the gym, but maybe I could do something at home by watching a video on YouTube or by doing some type of exercise, right? Sit-ups or push-ups or something. And so when we talk about showing ourselves 
grace, I'm not saying give yourself license to fall back. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying give yourself a pass to just go back to your old routines. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that there's going to be moments in the road where it may not all fit perfectly in a nice little box the way you want it to. And that's okay. It's going to be messy. It's not all going to be roses and sunshine. Here, I'll give you an example from myself. My goal is to, in the month of February, work out four days a week. Well, you know, today I found it a little difficult to go to the gym because what my daughter has been, one of my daughters, my oldest, she's had a fever for the last couple of days and my wife went to take her to the to the emergency room while I stood back with our other two daughters. And so, okay, I wasn't able to go to the gym, but there's still some things that I could do to be active, right? It, it doesn't fit quite into the routine that I want to have, but I could still be active. Or maybe I've said, okay, I'm be in bed by 1130, which has happened to me. I've said, I'm going to be in bed by 1130. Sometimes, especially with these past couple of days, having the girls like that, I may have to go to bed at 1145. Okay, but at least I didn't stay up past midnight. At least I didn't allow myself to say, well, I guess, I guess, forget it. I guess I'll stay up till two. It's like, no, show yourself some grace. So this thing isn't so easy. This thing isn't an overnight sensation. You didn't become the person you are overnight. It may have taken you 20, 30, 40 years to be the person you are right now. And the idea to rebuild yourself is not going to be something overnight. But I would rather invest the next 30 years rebuilding instead of investing the next 30 years being stagnant. I would rather invest the next seven days rebuilding instead of investing the next seven days of being the same way, not changing not advancing, not moving forward. And you have a choice to make. Are you going to allow the fact that you can't control the weather, you can't control the other variables of your life, the fact that you can't control them? This is why we talk so heavily. This is why I talk so heavily about your values. Because your values are your non-negotiables. Things may be going good, things may be going bad, but I will not value my, I will not cross, I will not violate my values. I will not go against my non-negotiables. I may not be able to control everything that's happening in my life, but there are some things that I can't control. I can control the decisions I make, and can, I can also control the way I treat myself. And what I want to encourage you today is to treat yourself with some grace. Maybe this thing hasn't gone exactly how you planned. Maybe maybe Monday wasn't so good for you. Hopefully Tuesday will be better. Maybe maybe you know you didn't hit the metrics you wanted to hit. But it'll get better. If you do not surrender. If you do not quit. If you do not retreat, if you do not give this moment as a moment of saying, well, I guess I'll go back to what I used to do. If you don't do that and you proceed forward, it'll get better. And these moments of difficulty will only be part of the story you tell of the giants and dragons you faced on the way to your treasures. Again, I'm not saying to allow this moment to be something where you can say, I guess I'll fall back. I'm saying show yourself some grace. After all, you are human. And we all have 24 hours a day. Things may get messy, things may get difficult, but you can still continue to move forward. Now, there is a difference between being in the messiness of trying to rebuild yourself as opposed to being stuck and feeling like you're in quicksand, feeling like you can't move forward 
towards becoming a better you. Those are two different feelings. If you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like you're on quicksand, if you're feeling like despite all of your best efforts, you can't manage to move forward, I want to encourage you to utilize the details in the show no links. I want to encourage you to head over to miguellebron.com and there set up a free 30-minute strategy session. There's no reason for you to stay stuck or stay feeling stuck. There's no reason for you to think it's all over. It's only month two out of 12. We are we are only passing the 40-day mark now. Like You still have time to change it around. You still have time to get unstuck. But just know that it's going to require the willingness from you. Oftentimes, individuals get with a coach, get with a personal growth strategist, and, and, and this has happened to me. Well, I've worked with individuals where they're it's like, we can work together, but there is a responsibility that you have in the journey that you're on. We can work together, implement strategy so that you can have your breakthrough moment. But guess who has to do the work? You. Michael Jordan had Phil Jackson, the greatest, one of the greatest coaches ever. But Michael Jordan was the one shooting the ball. Michael Jordan was out there doing the work. It was still a coach that he had. He still had a coach behind him. He still had someone who was helping him. It wasn't as though he he wasn't doing it. Right? Kobe Bryant, same thing. Had Phil Jackson. But again, Kobe had to do the work. Kobe had to do the work. And so I want to encourage you that you still got to do the work. You still got to go ahead and do the work. Nobody's going to do the work for you, right? How many times have people spoken about Muhammad Ali, the greatest, right? He would even say it. I'm the greatest, right? Everybody knows that. But Angelo Dundee, who was his boxing coach, Angelo Dundee was helping him. And yet, it was Muhammad who was there saying, I'm the greatest. So there was a team behind him, right? And that's what I want you to understand, that if you feel stuck right now and if you feel like you can't move forward, there's no reason to stay stuck. Why not invest in yourself? Why not team up with a coach? Why not click on that button? Let's set up a free 30-minute strategy session. And if after that free 30-minute strategy session. If after that conversation, you say, you know what, Miguel, this ain't going to work out, fine. What have you got to lose? What have you got to lose? The possibility that you'll get unstuck? The possibility that you'll gain perspective? The possibility that you may actually team up with a personal coach that can help you implement strategies for growth? What have you got to lose? And maybe you're saying, Miguel, I'm doing good. I'm moving forward. Great. Show yourself some grace in those moments where you stumble. Show yourself some grace. Because the worst thing you can do is beat yourself up only because you didn't get to do this week the things you wanted to do just like you wanted to do them. Life happens. We do know that, right? That life happens. There's a saying that if you want to hear God laugh, tell him your plans, right? And there's another saying, which is life is what happens when you're busy making plans. And that's the thing. We should make plans. We should have goals. We should strategize. We should plan for what next is, for what that looks like. But we should also know that things will get messy along the way. Hey, right now I am live on the Wisdom application, and there's a few set of people that are here in the group, several individuals, in fact, who have joined the group. And I want to encourage you that if you're listening on the Wisdom app and you, and you know, tell me about that moment we had to show yourself some grace. How do you show yourself grace? When you stumble, when you don't get to accomplish the things you would, the way you wanted to do them? Not doesn't mean you, you're you done. It just means that right now you, you haven't accomplished the way you thought it was going to be. Right. How do you show yourself 
some grace. So I want to I thank the people that are here on the Wisdom app, encourage you to hit that button, become a guest. And of course, I want to encourage those who are listening through the Strategy Rewind podcast to download download the Wisdom app. It's a free mobile application you can use on your iOS or Android device, and it allows you to build community, ask questions, curate those questions, hit the like, and even go live like I'm doing right now. And of course, if you're listening live, you can click on that button and become part of the conversation. We're talking about showing yourself some grace. We talk a lot about hustle, work, determination, grit, and these are words that everyone is, everyone uses. But often we forget to show ourselves some grace. After all, this process of growth is messy. It is a little messy. It is. And it's a little messy because you're challenging the status quo of your life. The habits that you have formed, they're being challenged. The mindsets that you have, they're being challenged. And because they're being challenged, it gets a little messy. Right? Eggs are broken when you make an omelet. It gets a little messy. But the finished product is going to be something that you'll look back and say it was worth it. And while you're in the process, things may not go the way you want them to go to. So, so this is why it's important to celebrate every win. Celebrate your wins. If your goal was to go to the gym four days a week and you did it, celebrate that. We know you're not done yet. The year isn't over. You haven't accomplished totally your goal, but celebrate that. If your goal is to read a chapter or two chapters a day, if your goal is to read a book within a month and, and you're almost in every chapter you read, celebrate that. I did that. Celebrate that because as you celebrate that, you build momentum. But also what it does is that in the day that it's a messy day, in the day when things happen that you can't control, you can show yourself grace by saying, you know what? I still, I'm on track. You see, I'm not saying give yourself license to fall back. I'm saying celebrate the wins so that in the day that things happen that are out of your control, like kids getting sick, like lights getting cut out because there's a power outage, or maybe there's a storm where you live at, or maybe somebody got sick or a family emergency, or your dog or your cat ran away. Like if these are things that, that you just can't account for. It's it, right. You, you're planning and you're saying, okay, I want to lose weight. Great. What does that look like? I'm going to go to the gym. Okay. How far is the gym from your house? Five minutes. Great. Okay. You have the membership. Yep. I know the gym I'm going to. What's the workout regimen? Here it is. It's 30 minutes. Great. Okay. And, and here's the payment and here's, you have all this. Okay. What are some things that may happen? I mean, I feel like working out, but I'm going to still do it. I'm going to recommit every day. Okay. Hey, I'm ready to go work out. Oh my goodness. I got a flat tire. And I just found out, like, I just remembered, not only do I have a flat tire, but the, the spare is a flat that I never fixed because I just, I didn't get to it. It's like, okay, well now, how do you deal with this and still accomplish your goals, right? I was, I was getting ready to, to, to read a good book, to sit down, and there's a power outage. Now what do I do, okay? Here's where you can think strategically. Some of these situations, you're able to pivot. Okay, I'm not able to go to the gym, but I can walk at home. I can right, I can do something at home. I'm not, I'm not able to, to read the book the way I wanted to, but, but I can use the flashlight on my phone. Or, or I'm not able to, to, right, to do X, Y, Z the way I wanted to, but I'm able to pivot. This is the part of being able to think strategically. So there's, there is a harmony into this where there are these moments where sometimes we use them as a license to fall back and take our foot off the gas pedal where that's not what I'm saying. We shouldn't do that. And we should say, okay, 
this isn't what I thought it was going to be like. This isn't what I thought it was going to look like. But how can I work within these within this circumstance? Oh, I can do this for 15 minutes. I can do this for 20 minutes or whatever that would look like. Not necessarily the way I wanted it to be, but I can still get it done. But then there are those other situations. There are those other days where things happen that you can't control that are outside of the scope by which you can even think or fathom what happened. Bad news knocks at your door right when you were getting ready to go out to the gym. Unexpected situation shows up right when you were getting ready to sit down with your good book. There are variables that may take place that you just can't account for because after all, life happens and this gets messy. And when life happens, and when the process of growth gets messy, and when you are feeling down on yourself because today you didn't get to read or work out or do, do it exactly how you wanted to do it, as per the regimen you have built for yourself, do me a favor, show yourself some grace. Remember that you're only human. Remember that you are indeed doing the best you can. Remember that tomorrow you'll be given a fresh 24 hours. The score goes back to zero. You can start over tomorrow. Have you ever had someone who wakes up with an attitude? Or maybe you're the one who wakes up with an attitude and somebody says, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed, huh? Right? The suggestion is always the same. Why don't you go lay back down, flip yourself over, and see if you can wake up on the right side of the bed. And in the words of Annie, the sun will come out tomorrow. So today didn't go the way you planned. Does it feel good? No, not at all. But show yourself some grace. And with that grace, tuck yourself into bed and wake up tomorrow hungry and ready to go on the attack don't take your foot off the gas pedal don't give yourself a license to fall back to old habits after all what we're doing here is that you're building new habits new mindsets you're building new routines you're building a new person and that my friends takes time and that, my friends, takes intention, and it takes commitment, and it takes a daily commitment. So wherever you are on your journey, if you're encountering difficulty, number one, show yourself some grace. Number two, do not make this a moment where you fall back. And number three, if you feel stuck, let's team up. I want to work with you. Hit that link. Set up a free 30-minute strategy session. You've got nothing else to lose. You've got nothing to lose. But if you stay in the same position, if you stay in the same rut, if you stay in that quicksand, day 50 of year 2023 will come. Day 100 will come, and so will day 365. And you don't want to be looking at the end of the barrel of day 365 knowing you could have done more.